Welcome to Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. So we're heading to our next dog show this week. Um, we're going on a Monday. We're only going for one day. There's two shows in one day for Ember, and there's a veteran class for Cole. So Cole is starting his groom. Today is Saturday, and we're going to the show on Monday. So the first thing I do today is I'm going to do heads and tail and bum, and if I get time to do feet, I will do feet, but I'll get these things done on the Saturday. And then Sunday, I'm going to prepare to do feet and bath, towel, and then I'll pack up and get ready for the show. So this is the first Ember here. She hasn't been done yet, but she only had a dog show like two weeks ago, so she's not bad. And Cole's probably a little over a month, and he's not bad. I've started here. I did his neck, and I've got his whiskers off, and I'm now going to have to, to do his ears. And I did his tail here. Up he's buddy. I did his tail and his bum, and I've started stripping with my Mars Co. King here, taking some fur out with that. Then I'm gonna use my regular stripping knife. I've used it a little bit, but I'm gonna use it more after. Here it is, it's also a Mars. I think it's a medium to a fine. I'm not sure what this is. It's a classic Mars stripping knife. I will use this more after his bath and it really tightens his coat up once he's had his bath and toweling. So this video, I'm just going to show you a little bit about getting ready for the dog show and maybe a few clips from the dog show of the two dogs showing. Anyways, we're going to keep grooming. So here's Ember on the grooming table. It's her turn now. I have trimmed her head here. I've done her ears and her neck. She didn't need a huge amount of work. She definitely did need her head shaved because she uh, has been two weeks since her last show. But anyways, we did her tail here dusty there in her bum. I'm going to do her feet tomorrow, but at least the shaving is done. I'll have a little bit of time to kind of grow a teeny bit back, not a lot, just enough to any, if there are any bad clipper blade marks or anything, you might not be able to see them. Just got some little bit of, you were in the garden, weren't you, playing out there. Anyway, so tomorrow we'll be back for day two of all our preparations for the dog show. So this is day two. This is the Sunday before the dog show. Ember now has her feet all nicely done and her body is looking pretty good. Her head is done. Her rear, I did her rear today and her feet and just gave her a little bit more of a strip. I took a teeny bit more hair out. I will take more hair out as the day goes on tomorrow. Uh, but today what's left is her bath and her blow dry and her toweling. So I will bath her, towel her, and then I'm going to blow out. So I'll blow dry all her furnishings, so her stomach, her legs, her bum, her ears and her chest. And then we'll leave the towel on for the night. Oh, this is what she looks like. Cools up next on the table to get his feet done. And then later this evening, we'll give them both a bath and a blow dry. But so Cole has had his bath now and I've dried all his furnishings. So his ears are dry. His left ear here, I'm going to dry a teeny bit more. It's not 100% dry. His chest looks, look at that chest. Wow. His legs are dry. His stomach hair is looking beautiful. And his rear here. And then I'm going to put his towel on. I'm going to brush his back coat here. The way it goes, nice and smart, flat, down his sides here. I'm gonna do the same to the other side, and then I'm gonna pin his towel on, and I will show you his towel on him in just one second. So I've folded this bath towel in about three quarters here. It's not quite in, I mean, I'm sorry, in a quarter. It's not quite in half. And then I'm gonna pin it here around his neck. And here I'm gonna take my kilt pin, and I'm gonna pin it under his stomach, under here, just in front of his of where he pees there, just so that he doesn't pee on it or I don't hurt him there. I'm going to use these kilt pins. So there you go. I pinned it here under his neck. So just through there. And then I pinned it under his stomach. I think we have to go the other side and you'll see it. I pinned it right there. So when he goes to the bathroom, I'm going to lift it up, hike it up as far as I can so he doesn't pee on his towel so much. And he'll look like that. And then as soon as he comes back in, he took his towel down. Cole's going to wear this for the night. And I'll take this off in the morning and put his dressing gown on that he has, but that he wears to a show, his nice silky gown. But this is what he'll look like for the night now. He's ready to go. We'll just finish his ear off here a little bit. And then Cole is ready for the dog show. He's looking beautiful, smelling good. Hey, buddy? Good boy. So here's Ember. It's her turn. She's getting ready for her bath. And then she'll blow dryer. But I wanted to just show you. On All Ember's White, I use this whitening shampoo. It's like a blue shampoo. And I like this Tropiclean. This is the easiest one I could find when I wasn't going to dark shows. But it works quite well. I put this on all her white, her legs, her chest, um, anywhere that has any yellowing. And then I bath her. 
just with my regular Tropic Clean 2-in-1 pet shampoo and conditioner. And then I'll use a little conditioner. I don't have any special dog ones, so I use a little bit of whatever conditioner we're using at the moment just for her back coat and down a little bit of her furnishings. It just kind of gives her a smoother finish when we're done. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to take her down and bath her. And right now it's about 8.15. So I'm hoping to be done by 9 o'clock tonight. Let's hope. Keep our fingers crossed. So Ember's out of the bath here. I'm going to brush her out, brush all her furnishings, her back, her ears, her bum, all that. And then I'm going to start blow drying. So here are my brushes I'm going to use. This pink one here I use on the long furnishings, so like her bum here. We'll go backwards and blow dry. A little bit under her stomach. Her stomach here is not that long, so I may use the purple one here for that one. And I'm going to use these on here. Then for her ears, I'm going to probably use the purple one. And maybe my slicker brush over here. Got some dirty coal hair in. And then for her chest, I will use a bit of the purple. Sorry, Ember, your face is in the way there. Let's talk. Or this nice pink one. She's got long bristles. So it catches the hair and then I pull. So I go under and I pull out and I blow dry. Kind of like a person when you're straightening. Your hair kind of fluff to straighten. And that's where we're going to try to give it some body and make it all lie flat and straight. So I'm going to start with her bum here. I'm going to get all this done. Maybe both sides we'll see. And then I'm going to move along her right side to her left side. And then we'll push her towel on. Ember's all dry now. She's got her legs dry, her ears. She's got her nice towel on. We'll go this side, Ember. How you looking? Oh, we look nice. There's her nice clean bum. Remember, should we show them what we pack in our box? Okay, I'm gonna put Ember down, then I'll show you all the things I gotta pack. All right, so I'm gonna pack all my tools that I used on the table here, my two brushes and my comb. I'm gonna bring this spray here. So this has my Botifier in it. I'll show you bottle here. It's called Crown Royal Botifying Texturizing Spray Conditioner. And I use this on them in this water. You dilute it with water and then I put it on when they're toweling. I use it um, like a hairspray a little bit um, around the ring time before I go, before I take them into the ring. So this is going to come and pack all these things in my grooming box. This is my big tackle box. The grooming box has got a whole bunch of leashes. In the back here, it's got my ribbons that I've won recently with Ember and Cole. Got some extra combs, brushes, and then I have a little drawer here with all my stripping knives, my my toenail clippers, and then it's got another section down here where I put my scissors and my mousse for the dogs, and then it's hairspray in there if I needed it, my smock. And here is all the, all the vet wrap I have. So when we get to the dog show tomorrow, I've got to go and buy some more vet wrap. You can hear them being naughty up there. So I'm going to finish packing things. Things I've got to bring my hair dryer on my table here. And I've brought a box with some towels and some cooling mats for the dogs so if it's hot. It says it may rain tomorrow. So we'll see. Hopefully it holds off while we're in the ring and we don't get soaked. Anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow.
So we're back from our dog show and this is our things that we've gotten. Cole here, he was in for veterans class and he went best veteran of breed, best veteran of group and then he got best veteran in show. So he got this beautiful, lovely rosette to bring home. These are all his ribbons. And then Ember, she was in um, two shows yesterday and she went breast of breed in her limited dog show. And then she got a group second, this lovely green ribbon here. She got a group second right here in her limited breed. And then she went best of opposite in the second dog show. She had a, was against a male special, so she didn't win anything there. But we had a really good day and we were so happy to bring home both these big ribbons for the for our two dogs and we had a really lovely day. Um, it was really rainy, so it wasn't that great, but thank goodness the show was indoors. That was the saving grace. We still had to race the dogs from the setup, um, which was just our car this time. We had no friends to meet and there wasn't a grooming area that I could get into. So we groomed at the car and I sadly groomed in our trunk and stopped grooming at one point because it was just too wet and brought them over. We carried them with towels over to ringside. So I didn't get any video of that. I was hoping to get video of me grooming and all the finishing touches I do at the dog show. They miss some finishing touches that I usually do, but oh well, what can you do? It was a rainy, wet day and they showed that just the way they are and they did really, really well. Uh, we won't be dog showing for probably another month. Uh, end of August, we'll have two big shows we'll be heading to then. Um, one of them will be the Springer Booster in Cornwall and we're looking forward to that. Seeing a whole lot of Springers and we'll take some video there for you. I'm a big group of Springers together and uh, anyways hopefully Ember can get a few more points this summer or into the fall and finish her championship. Well thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.